How you feeling, man? Good, man. I kind of just woke up a little sleepy, but I'm good. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. How have you uh, been adjusting to everything, especially since we've been in this damn pandemic for like a year now? I mean, I've really just been, I've been trying to stay busy. Like I, I get crazy when I stay in the house for too long. So I've been trying to just give myself stuff to do so I'm not too, you know, too locked in. So what, is it, what does a typical day look like for you then? Typical day, I get up, man, I don't have any, I don't have like any type of like, I really just focus on like promote music or just being active on social media. Really like, it's really not like a set schedule for me. So it's like, I got to constantly keep myself busy. No doubt. Now you were enrolled in uh, Central Michigan for a little while before you know you signed your deal. What were you studying? Uh, I was actually studying broadcasting, and um, and a minor in acting. Oh wow. Okay. Would Would you ever go back? Nah. <laughs> I'm be honest. Nah, I'll go back. You don't even have to think about it, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, I ain't going back, man. I ain't never going back. So, so what was it that got you into music? Because, uh, you know, obviously you was popping on social media and everything like that. What was it that drew you to music? Really, I always wanted to do music. I just, you know, I was just on this crazy wave on the internet. I just wanted to focus on that. I feel like you do better at stuff when you like only focus on one thing, you know what I mean? So when I finally started to only focus on music and not try to juggle both doing the YouTube thing and the music, that's when it took off. So it's like, you know, I just feel like I always wanted to do music. I just took an initiative to really lock in and take it serious. Do you think that's the reason you were able to make the transition? Because there's a lot of influencers, uh, people that's popping on social media who are trying to like cross over to music, but they're not able to have the success that you have. Is it because you, you locked in or, or some of them are still trying to juggle both? Nah, it's really like, I mean, it, to me, it's it's just about having good music, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like it's like a, uh, what you, how you call it? A stereotype. You know, like if somebody come off of a social media or like YouTube or something like that, automatically their music might be trash. That's what people automatically think. Yeah. Or they can't take it serious because they're not street enough, blah, 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 or all this stuff like that. But like, people get my genuine vibe. Like, even though I, do the YouTube thing, like people know where I come from and my background and stuff like that. So I feel like it's it's easier for somebody to gravitate towards me and relate and believe my music rather than some other people. But, you know, it's a lot of talented people that do the social media thing when it comes to music. It's just about being consistent and persistent and making them people want to listen to you. No, that makes a lot of sense. I think I caught first wind of you um, one of my favorite songs that you did was that Hold Up record with you and Queen Naja. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. like, like, like that joint was fire. After that, you know, I definitely was paying more attention to what you had going on in your movement. Uh, but let, let's definitely talk about Moonwalking and Calabasas, man, because, uh, you know, that, that song just took off and is going crazy. First and foremost, how'd you come up with the title? Because the name itself is just cool as shit. Yeah, no, I was I literally, bro, like I was just freestyling that, that I feel like my, like when I record, I punch in, like I just, I, I punch in. If it didn't sound right, I delete it, go back, punch in again, and just till I come up with something. And then I said the Michael Jackson line, and I was like, damn, this is, it's kind of fire. And then I just kept going, moonwalking, because Michael Jack, like when I make my music, if I say one word, I like to make it make sense for at least a couple lines, you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I just said Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson moonwalks in Calabat. You know what I mean? So it was just like, I was just coming up with stuff to just tag along with the Michael Jackson line that I just punched. And then when I heard it back all together, cohesive, it was like, oh, this shit's fire. Like I can see this being something, you know? So yeah, man. Did you, did you know, like, as soon as it was done, that it was going to be as big as it is now? I mean, I didn't, I mean, no, I didn't know. Cause I was really locked into the studio for a minute and I was just making a bunch of music. And then how I really knew that it was a good song though, I didn't know it was gonna be this big, but how I knew it was a good song is when I'm in the car, I listen to my own music all the time, like all my unreleased music. I rarely listen to any other artists. And when I do, it's like for a short amount of time. 
I just listen to my music to see if I get bored of it. And I was listening to Moonwalk and Calabashes over and over and over and over for like a week or two. And I just didn't get bored of it. Like it was just one of those songs that I got that I was like, oh, this is fire. Like, this is the one, I gotta put this out next. So then I just put it out. And then uh, after I put it out for a little bit, probably a month later, Blueface hit me up to remix it. Crazy, man. Well, congratulations on that, definitely. What, what's next for you? What's the rest of the year look like? Well, I got this Die for Respect project coming out um, towards like the end of March. So once this comes out, that's really what I'm focused on for like the, you know, the next few months. But I'm working, working on the album as well to drop before the end of the year. So, but you know, I'm just ready to see how this tape go. Cause I'm, I really believe in it. Like it's one of those projects where I'm like, okay, I really did some artist stuff. You know what I mean? Like I sat in the studio, you know what I mean? I, I, I came up with transitions. I made a sort of each song goes into the next song correctly. You know what I mean? It's not just a bunch of rush music. So I feel like a lot of people are gonna appreciate it. Did it pass your test, your riding test? You like you know, the same thing you said for Moonwalking the Calabasas. Did you test the album out like that? Yeah, I, what I do is I take every single song in the sequence that we came up with, put them all together, make one long MP3 and just play it in the car and just keep playing it over and over. So everything sounds great. Um, I feel like people are really gonna tap in. They're gonna love it. I definitely look forward to it, man. Your, your previous project was fire. And uh, I like what you're doing, man. I, I, I like how you you know you got your own lane and your own movement going. So keep on keep on rising, my brother. Appreciate it. For real, for real. I'm gonna wrap it up with my um my top five like rapid fire questions, and this is so people can get like to learn more about you just outside of music. So uh, first one, favorite food of all time. Favorite food of all time. I like chicken spaghetti. It's it's something that my mom makes though. It's like it's a little different. You know what I mean? But it's like, it's spaghetti, but yeah. it's, with chicken. it's with chicken and it's with uh, like uh, cream of chicken and some something else. It's not Alfredo. Like she would have to make it, you know what I mean? But it's that's like my all time favorite food ever. All right, favorite movie of all time? Hunger Games. Which one? The first one, first one is the best one. That was a classic. Favorite video game? Favorite video game, I would say Call of Duty. Okay. Favorite sneaker or shoe? Favorite sneaker is Alexander McQueen right now. Nice. Okay. Last one. Uh, favorite city to visit outside of your hometown? I would say Miami. Miami. <laughs> no doubt, my brother. Well, I appreciate your time, man. Uh, you got some time to do some drops real quick? Yeah, let's do it. 